Well, Rita and James, very exciting news this weekend. We now learn that Jim Chalmers <laughs> is going to reinvent capitalism. Oh, oh, get oh, rid yes. of the free market. Fantastic. What great news. The bloke who worked for Wayne Swan, remember, the world's greatest treasurer, and worked for Kevin Rudd, the world's greatest buffoon, now our American ambassador, he is going to reinvent capitalism, James. And remember, he's working for Anthony Albanese, the man who claimed that he was an economic advisor to the Hawke government, but was really an advisor <laughs> to Tom Uren, who was one of the people in that cabinet who was absolutely devoted to turning around the Bob Hawke Keating era reform. So we are now seeing this absolutely brought to life right now. You know, everything that was warned about during the uh, election campaign, that Albanese was a guy of the hard left, that this wasn't a moderate centrist sort of government that he was trying to pitch, is absolutely coming through. And what we are seeing now, you know, the old neoliberal consensus, of course, is breaking down around the world. But what we are seeing rush into the vacuum here in Australia is this attempt to go back to all the old failed models. So we've seen it with gas, we've seen it with coal, we're seeing it with energy. But look out. We're going to see it happening with housing. We're going to see it happening with food. We're going to see it happening with every sector of the economy. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to use industry super yes, funds to go it. and interfere with markets left, right, and center all across the country. And Australia is going to be the poorer for it. Poorer, literally, Rita. Well... A Labour lefty lovey reimagining capitalism <laughs> and, and uh, remaking it in their image. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it's going to be a raging success, really. I mean, this is what happens when you run out of other people's money. And the Liberals have plenty of blame here because they went on a mad Labour-style spending spree during the pandemic. Yep. Yep. And we're paying the price. And all of this is going to mean is, like James said, your super funds, they're going to be under pressure. Watch out there. Uh, negative gearing, is that going to be another well, asset uh, <clears throat> base? It basically, it will make it more difficult for people to build wealth, become self-sustainable. This is how this sort of uh, ideology always ends up. No matter how well-intentioned it is, we know what's going to happen because we've seen it before. Well, well, we know from Margaret Thatcher and others that socialists will just carry on spending other people's money, yours in particular. This, James, is all about finding ways to take money from you and spend it on madcap schemes. A few very, very dangerous warning signs in what Jim, in what Jim Chalmers is announcing. One, he's going to include a new taxonomy to label the climate impact mm -hmm. of different investments. We've warned about that uh, on this show. This is this so-called ESG. ESG. If yeah. you see ESG on your portfolio, sell, sell, sell. Because all it means is that they're putting touchy-feely, lefty, woke policies in front of profit. When they do that, that means loss and the loser is you. The other thing, James, that they're going to look at is some kind of weird, crazy climate uh, credit scheme where you mm. don't look at uh, the credit rating of something, you look at its climate rating. This is all, James. Uh, we've seen it uh, in New Zealand under Ardern, complete failure there. Well, this is These policies always end up impoverishing a country. Australia, you were warned, look out, we're going downhill fast.